We are living the same total fusion between symbol and reality. The real reason why in our world today where uh, there is no technical reason whatsoever why there should be any poverty at all. The reason it still exists is people keep asking the question, where's the money going to come from? Not realizing that money doesn't come from anywhere that ever did. Except if you thought it was gold. And then, of course, uh, if to increase the supply of gold, use that to finance all the world's commerce, prosperity would depend not upon finding new processes for growing food in vast quantities, or getting uh, nutrition out of the ocean, or uh, getting water from atomic energy. No, it is depends on discovering a new gold mine. And uh, you can see what a nonsensical state of affairs that is. Something like the Mona Lisa More beats, less sleep You can get the feature And you can get the picture I'm known to keep it raw I'm sick of salmonella Playing on the seesaw Up Chuck All glory to the God above His story made true Came to spread love These lines sauteed at the tape deck My analog keeps it warm While you break next I boom back the title Hello, five my rivals Muzu Shoe that's homicidal Chop it up and cut it up just like a Gensu A perfect gentleman, consider what I've been through The soul music though is coming from a dark soul Right now I can't cross that bridge just like a troll Oh no, another rapper just sold his soul For a little money and just the go, go What? <laughs> what's your main goal? Yo, what's your main goal?
Imagine a world without money. At the moment, the world is in the control of a handful of beings. They have created the Babylonian money magic slave system.
control problem of money and the distribution of the wealth of the world as produced by technology is a psychological problem and not a material problem. They did 40 years ago, their perceived quality of life has not improved. In fact, it has decreased, the survey tells us. According to one of the researchers, a financial colossus is seducing people all over the world and not meeting their essential personal needs.
happiness into our lives? Where do I fit in? For starters, let's read instead of staring at the TV for hours at a stretch. We can spend quality time with spiritual people instead of with materialists. We can engage in some form of devotional service. Let us find the culture of life instead of the culture of death.
Musa. Oh, this is